Hi, Adam Payne here with the Video Marketing Insider and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a video sales letter. Now video sales letters or VSLs are really useful to add to sales pages for your own products and they help you get more sales even if you may think they're a bit cheesy or you don't like them when you visit them. The true fact of the matter is these things work. So what exactly are VSLs or video sales letters? Well, we're over here at ClickBank, which if you don't know is a massive marketplace where you can sell and buy digital offers in a whole variety of different niches. So these are currently the top selling products on ClickBank. Now if I just click on this top one and open it up in a new tab, we'll come on over here. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a video sales letter. You can see here, look, video sales letter already loading up. So we'll get rid of that and we'll close that off. Let's come down to something else. Let's click on this one, which is a weight loss offer. And let's see what happens when we open up this page. Again, we can see it's loading up the video sales letter. Now, I don't know about you, but whenever I wanna buy a product or I go to a sales page, I generally think the VSLs or video sales letters can be annoying. However, the true fact of the matter is they work people would not invest time and money into creating these things if they didn't work. Now, the ones that we see on ClickBank for these offers that make tons of sales are obviously professional productions. They cost a lot of money to make, a copywriter has to write the script, and then somebody that knows what they're doing has to put everything together. And as these VSLs can sometimes be 10, 20, even 30 minutes long, that is a huge expense that most people can't afford. But if you can't afford to do that, there are ways that you can create these by yourself and you can create them really, really quickly. And I'm gonna show you that here. And we're gonna be using a couple of tools. Now you're gonna be needing a tool called Audacity if you want to record the voice over yourself. What I'll tend to do, and I'll show you an example in a second, is I will type out a very short one minute and 30 seconds script for a product that I'm selling. I will then use Audacity which works on a Mac or a PC, you just download it, and then I would record myself reading out the scripts aloud. Um, you can then export that script as an MP3 or a WAV file to your computer. So you've actually got the audio ready before anything else. If you don't wanna do that, you can have somebody else read the script for you. Now, if we go into fiverr.com, which is where you can get people to do stuff for you, you can find, if we just close this little thing off, Got all these people here that are prepared to be you know a voiceover so you will give them the script you'll probably have to pay them for a specific amount of words so let's just click on this one um let's i'll deliver an american female voiceover so i've not used this person i'm not saying she's good or she's bad but hopefully this will open up in a second okay so the page is loaded up now and we can see that she charges 30 dollars for a hundred words so if your script was you know 200 words you'd shoot over 60 dollars uh, make sure if you use a service like fiverr that you double and triple check the text because if you make a spelling mistake or a grammar mistake they're going to probably read it out as is these people don't ever you know come back to you and say i think you've got this wrong so make sure that you triple check everything and then send it over to this person. Now, if you'd rather get a man or somebody with a British accent or an Australian accent, you can find all of these people on Fiverr. Just read the testimonials and you can get a you know, good idea as to whether this person is great. Now, personally, <clears throat> I use Audacity because I don't mind reading out the script myself and it's for my products. But if you're doing it under a pen name or you're trying to sell a product that would be better suited to females but you're a male then of course you make the call yourself so once you've got that then i use this tool here called vidnami it used to be called content samurai i've got a complete review on this product if you want to see it just click the i or look in the description below but this is fantastic for creating video sales letters now if we scroll down a little bit this is one that i've created for one of my own products so i'm just going to click on edit to show you the process so the first thing that you would probably do is you'd come and you'd click on sales video. So in fact, let me click on sales video now. And you can choose one of these um, you know, templates, choose something that matches your sales page, the color fits in. Once you choose a template, let's, so let's say for example, I wanted to choose this one. You can click on use this template. You would then be taken to the script area. See, I've already got my script in here. All you would do is copy and paste the script that you've read out or that you've sent over to Fiverr to be read. And make sure 
that you have a line between each sentence because each that gap here is going to represent a slide. So if I was to just, for example, uh, click on edit the script, if I was to kind of do that, this would be a lot of text on one slide. So I wouldn't want to do that. Um, you then come over to scenes, you'd hit create scenes if it's the first time. I've already made this video, so I'm going to click on scenes. And basically what this software does is it scours, you know, it's a depository of stock videos and stock images and it provides you with things that it thinks matches your text so for example for each slide it will highlight a word or a phrase so if it highlights inexpensive it's going to give you clips or images related to the word inexpensive but if you would like to focus on something different then you can just you know do that so for example um, let's say I wanted to get rid of all of that okay now, if I just choose the word traffic, of course, the traffic means different things. On the internet, it means people coming to your website, but in the real world, it means, you know, cars, trucks, and so on. So if I was to, you know, click on traffic, it's going to find me these kind of images, which isn't related. So then I've got a choice to either choose a different word or to, I can even upload my own images and videos as well. You can have clips or you can have images. And what you do is you'd scroll down, go get rid of that ugly face there. And let's come down to something else. Now you can click on this and you can move the text down, you can move it up, it's completely up to you where you have the text. You can bold words, you can hide, um, underline words, you can italicize words. Um, you, again, you can upload your own clips and all that kind of stuff. Once you're happy, you would then come to the voice section. Um, I've already uploaded my voice track, but if you recorded it yourself or you got somebody off Fiverr to record the voice for you, they would have sent you a file, you upload it here. I don't recommend you use an auto voice or that for a sales videos because it's going to sound robotic. You would then come over to preview and you can basically see the video before you actually download it to your computer. Vidnam is going to put it all together. That can take, you know, 10, 15, 20 seconds. It's dependent on your connection and how long the actual video may be. So we'll just wait a second. I'll pause the video while it's doing its thing. Okay, so you can see because I um, removed the bolding here, that's kind of removed here. Now you can add a watermark where you can upload your own logo if you want to. You can um, adjust the background music volume if you want to have background music. You can make your voice be quicker or slower and you can increase the volume of yourself. Now if you've got background music, I don't recommend that you have it too loud. I would say something like 6% is a max. And you, you can either play the video through and see how it flows or you can manually adjust the timing. Now, if you click on manually adjust timing, it's going to play your video and show you the slides. And you may find that when you speak, something doesn't match. And you can just kind of you know, drag your slide across, across here. So for example, if, if I wanted to move this across here um, and press play now, let's have a look inexpensive but laser targeted traffic to your website and office see that came that came too quickly so i'd need to kind of drag that back across here once you're good to go you hit looks good continue and then you download your video of course vidnam is going to go ahead and process it it may take a couple of minutes then you've got your vsl on your sales page and you can do what you want with that you can upload it to vimeo pro which is what i do and then embed it on your sales page and if i actually go to the sales page in question so here we are over at one of my sales pages and if the page loads up you will see the vsl is in here and this is the vsl that i've just been showing you so this vsl is now on my page and if people want to play it they can and if they don't they don't i'm not really big with autoplay vsls and besides if you want to advertise your product on facebook or certain networks they don't like autoplay things but that's that it's really easy to use i highly recommend vidnami for creating video sales letters Again, super easy, you don't need to be techy, and as I've shown you in this video, if you don't even want to create the voice yourself, you can outsource that as well. Check the link below to check out Vidnami or any other videos I've got on this topic, and I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right-hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews, so go and watch those as well. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.